Okay, we're in section 36, and it's a continuation of linear systems. We're dealing with two by two. What does that mean? Two equations, two unknowns. What techniques have we done so far? Basically, it's gonna be the graphing technique, which I'm not a big fan of. That, that, that doesn't mean you can't be a big fan of it. It's a, that the graphing needs to be understood though, because as problems get larger and larger and larger, graphing is a nice way to do problems, all right? When I say larger, I should say, I shouldn't say larger, I should say more complex. All right. The other technique we have was what's called uh, substitution. That worked nicely too. That's a really nice way to do a problem, by the way. There are issues with that though. And my claim about this over here is we need another method. And this is my like all time favorite for solving linear system of equation. And it's what's known as Gaussian elimination or addition. All right. So I'll, I'll go to the whiteboard later, but I want to point out your system is going to look a typical way. We'll talk about what the typical way it looks like. We'll certainly do a really simple example to start with. I'll work through it. As I'm pointing out when I'm working through this stuff over here is that you might say to yourself, I wanna try this method or that method. You should learn a variety of methods. What are those methods? Graphing, substitution. And now today we're gonna to be doing elimination. Again, I'll go to the whiteboard to describe that later. Uh, of course, after we do that all, we wanna to get to word problem, not sorry, not word problems. We wanna to get to the problems and be able to solve the problems that are presented to us. These are typical level of difficulty that you're going to be seeing. Again, we'll give you examples, and then we'll give you a chance to try it on your own. And again, you got to try these things on your own at some point. All right, so let me, let me do a switch to a whiteboard now. And let me do that for you. All right, let me just take a look here. Okay, so it, one step at a time, so to speak. And I, my claim over here is this method is, is typically either called the addition technique or elimination technique. And there's gonna be some of their various names I give you, you study Math 119, they're gonna start talking about, you know, uh, Gauss-Jordan and Gauss. Don't worry about it, all right? It's an intuitive process. All right, so what are we doing over here? We're basically looking at a technique that's either going to be called addition or possibly elimination, all right? So they, they want to say a typical system of equations, you know, looks like this over here. This is typical. This is a typical system of equation. Now, what I like about this when it's, it's typical, what I like about this over here is that, you know, I, I, I want to point this out, the, the column of X's is lining up, the column of Y's is lining up, and the column of constant lining up. But the only real requirement is that the equal signs line up, right? So someone says, I wonder why they call it the addition technique. The reason they call it the addition technique is what they're gonna do is they're gonna make an attempt to add these things together. Now, if you add this thing together, these are two equations, you get something that, I mean, it actually looks ridiculous. It would look like this over here and write this down for you. If you were to add these things together, I mean, it really does look ridiculous when you do that. You get AX plus DX plus BY plus EY equals C plus F. This looks absolutely ridiculous. This is not our goal. Our goal isn't to make things look worse to you, to make them look better. And this is the key here. Although we're adding, we want things to eliminate. But again, my claim for addition to work out things better line up. What better line up? Most important equal sign. But here's the deal. It's great if everything lines up because it makes it really easy to add things together. So let's take a look at an example. And I'm going to look at this example over here. And the first thing I noticed about this particular problem is although the equal signs are lining up, and I clearly see that these are lining up, adding these together, other things don't line up. Now, I'll tell you what I mean by that. This is X and this is Y. This is Y and this is X. They're not lining up. So my first thing I wanna do here is just rearrange it in the order I like. So the first equation is in the order I like. And what is it? It's two X minus three Y equals one. That's fine. First equation is fine. It's X, Y, number. X, Y, number. I'm gonna rewrite the second equation so it's in the same order. And what would that be? minus x plus 2y is equal to 1. So I put on what I got over here. Everything is lining up. 
If you add this together though, and this is where the trouble comes, if you add it together, right? If you add these things together, what would you get? I'm gonna write this down for you. 2X minus X is X. Let me go back to um, a pen. 2X minus X is X. Minus 3Y plus 2Y is minus Y. One plus one is two. I gotta be honest with you. I did add it together, but I didn't get the second thing they said they wanted, which was an elimination. What does that mean? Something was supposed to do, disappear. Nothing disappeared, nothing. So although I was able to add them together, nothing disappeared. So what we need to do is we need to select somebody to get rid of. And let's talk through that now. So I'm gonna say, you're either gonna select an X to get rid of or a Y to get rid of. So I'm gonna select an X to get rid of. So what we wanna do is find the least common multiple between their coefficients. And when I say their coefficients, I'm not looking at signs yet. I'm just looking at numbers. So I'm gonna say between two and one. And what would that be? Two, that's the least common multiple. So what I need to do is I need to find a multiple, right? A least common multiple between those two. So when I do that, my claim about this one over here is I want through an addition, an elimination, so their coefficients must be opposite. So I'm looking at that. So what I'm gonna do is multiply the second equation by two. If I do that, what would I get? Minus two X. Let's go through that. The first equation, totally unchanged. It's still gonna be two X minus three Y is equal to one. But if you multiply the second equation by two, what are you gonna get? Minus two X plus four Y is equal to two. That's done. What I'm gonna do now, add them together. What's my hope? Addition will lead to an elimination. What's 2x minus 2x? No x's. This is why it's called elimination. We got rid of the x. What's minus 3y plus 4y? It's just simply y. What's 1 plus 2 is 3. Right now is the eureka moment. I know y is 3. What I don't know is I don't know the x. So what I wanna do is I wanna use elimination on this thing. I want the y's. Let's write this down. What's the LCM between three and two? It's six. All right, I'm gonna erase some things in the problem. And I wanna make these things opposites. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by two. That would make it minus six y and the bottom equation by three. Let me do that. I'll put this over here. And what do you get? Four x minus six y is equal to two. Second equation minus three x plus six y is equal to three. What are you gonna do? Add them together. I'll put a line here to indicate that. Not certainly I'm running out of room, but I'll put it over here. And you know, four X minus three X is just an X, right? Minus six Y plus six Y is zero. Two plus three is five. So what do I now know? I know X is five and Y is three. That's also can be written as an ordered pair of numbers. The order pair of numbers is going to be x comma y. And what do I believe it is? Five comma three. All right, I got to be honest with you. I might be wrong. I'm going to check in. You should always check in the original system. And let's go for that. All right, let's write down one step at a time. Let's do the first equation. It's right here. What's twice x? Well, I believe x is five, so twice x is 10, minus three y. Well, I believe y is three, what's three times three, nine. This checks beautifully. I wonder if it checks in the second one. The second one says twice y, that's six, minus x, I believe x is five. Does that equal one? Of course it does, this checks out perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna claim it's not a bad technique, all right, I actually like the technique. I prefer this technique to any other technique for linear systems, that is. Let's go to the next page. 
And I just want to point out on the very next page, I do point out the answers to it. And I do point out that checking is something you should be doing unless it's too difficult for you. All right, you don't do it then. Okay, we'll go to examples next. As we go through the examples, I want to point out we're looking for this, the system to be written in like a standard way. And we're looking for an elimination. Sometimes that requires some groundwork, finding an LCM. Generally speaking, it'll be quite easy to do that. All right. And the answers will be easy to check. We do provide answers for the students who are too tired to check. But the bottom line, when you're on the exam, you don't have an answer key. You should be checking these things if you're on the exam. All right. Let me stop and we'll go to the examples next. All right. Thank you for your attention.